You know what time it is? It's now time for some of VFC's famous cheesy garlic bread. You wanna get yourself a good Italian loaf or a French stick. Cut it in half like this. If you get the thicker French loaf though, I like to cut out a little bit of this on the inside. Take the guts out of the bread. Cause you're gonna leave a little moat in there. I call it a moat, a gully, whatever. And that's where the olive oil is gonna go. And you don't want the bread to be too thick. So there you go, this is the beginning. So push down the middle bit of the bread. Otherwise when you pour the olive oil on, then it's gonna go all over the place. Then the olive oil has a place to settle. Ah, uh, yeah. So now you got the olive oil all on there. And what you're gonna do, and this is a culinary term, you're gonna squish the olive oil into the bread. Soak that olive oil into the bread. Ah, uh, yeah. So now you got the oil soaking into the bread. What's next? Because I'm a big fan of looking out for people's health and arteries in the hearts, now you just add butter. So you just rub the butter in over the olive oil. Very healthy, low fat, low cholesterol, cheesy bread. But you know what? It's fucking good. Now that you got all this cholesterol free, soak it into the bread. Now you get some of them spices on there. Pretty much use the same spices that you do in the lasagna. Just throw them on the garlic cheesy bread now. So you can use fresh garlic when you do this, of course, but in the absence of time, or in the consideration of time, I'm just using powdered garlic this time. But the fresh garlic adds a touch to it. The thing with the powdered garlic is the flavor is really strong. So don't add too much, otherwise you're gonna be fighting off vampires for about 16 weeks after you have your cheesy and lasagna party. And if you do use the fresh garlic, make sure you ground it up nice and small. You don't really want chunks in there. I yeah. So while I said ingredients are optional on here and spices, I think the must-haves are garlic, of course, fresh basil, and oregano, fresh oregano if you can find it. But if you can't, just use that flaked oregano. But you gotta have oregano on it. Or as the Brits would say, oregano. So for the cheese, your option A is the moist mozzarella that you get out of the water if you can get that. But you can't here in Bahrain. So you could either get the, the hard blocks of mozzarella or you can get the uh, shredded. And your shredded is what you want, not the hard block because it's too dry. So just get that shredded mozzarella, sprinkle on top and you're good to go. Of course, because it's summer in Bahrain and it's 15,000 degrees outside, you're gonna get your clumped. You know, because by the time you get the mozzarella from the fridge to the counter to the bread, it melted already. So the next step is very important because now you got it all prepared and you don't want to put it in the oven like this because it's going to get too hard like a brick and the cheese is going to burn and it's not all going to cook right. So make sure you watch this video long enough to know how you put that in the oven so that your cheese comes out right. So you take your aluminum foil. Put your cheesy bread in there, enough so that you're gonna cover the entire cheese bread. And you don't wanna wrap it so that the foil is on the cheese, because then all the cheese melts to the foil when you open it up, all the cheese comes off. Close all the ends, like this. And you should be able to pick up that and carry it like this. And that's how you're gonna put it in the oven. Slide it in like this. And I repeat, do not put the cheese bread in the oven like this. Make sure you wrap it up in the foil. I'll repeat that again. Do not put the cheese bread directly in the oven. Make sure you wrap it in foil and make sure the foil's not touching the cheese when you do it. So the truth is too, it's almost more important that the garlic cheesy bread is better than lasagna or as good. You have a bad batch of lasagna, everybody shows up, feed them this garlic cheesy bread before they had a couple drinks. If you know the lasagna is not the best you've ever made, goose and mixers, goose and mixers, garlic cheesy bread, garlic cheesy bread, more goose and mixers. By the time you get to the lasagna, it's like, ah. Now the lasagna is the main attraction though, so you gotta make sure you put your due effort into getting that right. 
but for the reasons I just described, make sure that cheesy bread's good too. Because you could always give people wine and some goose and mixers, and then you know everything tastes great to people after that. So there's VFC's cheesy garlic bread. Hope you enjoyed it. And ah uh, yeah, no life like the good life. It's what I like to say. <laughs>